And now, a Shakespeare in the Ob exclusive. Hello, Brooklyn. Hello, Paul. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, a little bit warm. Voice yes. isn't back to what it used to be quite yet. But yes, I can understand that. You have to save your voice because yes. uh, you have some powerful things to say in this play. Yes. But uh, <laughs> we're currently behind the, you could say, off backstage, even though this is not a. There's a helicopter. Yes. Oh, here it is. Oh, that was dramatic. Yes, very. Could we have been more dramatic than that? But as I was saying, um, we are sort of off stage, even though this is not a conventional stage. But the performance is going on, and yes. we're just not needed at the moment. Very true. Correct. And we thought, what better time to get an inter some interviewing going on than backstage waiting time? You know. Yeah, because this is a really boring part to wait in. It's lovely out though, so that's nice. It's very nice weather today. A but bit warm. Yes. But does provide mosquito protection. So tell me, Brooklyn, or tell the viewers for that matter, um, um, in The Winter's Tale, what is your what roles are you playing, or what role is, what are you doing here? Well, um, I am what I like to call Lord Etc. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of uh, a, um, I'm a courtier. I, I, I support the king, and uh, I also act as a judge in the trial scene, but um, I. I'm sort of I I I I'm very much a, a supporting character. I, I don't I don't want to stick out too much, mm -hmm. and I don't. Um, and yeah, but it's sort of liberating to do that because you have a little bit more freedom sometimes. Right, than right. You can do. Right. Um, now you have some po very powerful things to say in this play. Um, do you um, is it in the script, or did the director tell you to do it powerfully like that, or is it just something that came from inside that you have to do it like that? Well, I mean, a lot of the times since we're outside and it can be really difficult to hear. I just try and talk really loud. Um, right. And so I leave some of the nuances out that I might uh, uh, have elsewhere, or that one might want elsewhere. Um, there are a lot of things that I say that I would say quite a bit more right. quietly and subtly than, than I do right. out here. Right. Now there is a scene in the, in the court scene where you get to wear this cool hat and it's kind of like a winter hat like you would yes. wear even though the play doesn't necessarily take place in winter but um, in the court scene when you're reading uh, the message given, the oracle sends her a ma you know, uh, you get a message from the oracle yes. and it tells you about how Hermione is chased and whatnot. Um, what, there's one line that you all, that the audience seems to always laugh at. What is that line? Ah yes, well the, the, the oracle is just so straightforward, it is kind of amusing. Uh, Hermione is chaste, Polixenes blameless, Camillo a true subject, Leontes, a little bit nervous to say this, jealous tyrant. Um, <laughs> that is that is awesome and I always notice when I do the when I bring in the scribe from the Oracle and I give it to you and I'm walking back a little like I'm walking back slowly because I want to and you always have a pause you see the other stuff before but before you say that Leontes line is there a reason that you do that pause or are well you yeah I mean or what? yeah it is scary and it makes me uncomfortable um, to say that about my king because and especially considering that he's um, uh, gone a little off his rocker right. uh, in the course of the play. So. No, when Leontes, because it's mostly double cast with the big roles, um, yes. do you, are there certain nights that you would say a pause is needed and some nights a pause is not? Or do you well, just, I mean, do Graham, it? who we have doing Leontes now, um, prefers it to be uh, as uh, grave as possible. So I try and... Um, downplay that more. I mean, it's going to be funny either way, though, I think, whatever Right, I definitely, do, because the audience laughs. And it's like it's like a fortune cookie in the middle of, of this yes. very poetic scene. Um, that laugh always puts a smile yeah. on my face. That's why I'm walking back so slowly from that scene. I don't hurry it up or anything, you know. Yeah. I then, I mean, that laugh. When, when Rob did it last time, we happened to have had a sort of an audience that wanted to laugh, and uh, and he no, he pointed that out, and I thought, okay, well, I guess that's a chance to take a big pause, look at him, and then and then he urges me yes. on. And so it depends on who's playing it. That yeah, and it depends the on the mood. audience. It sets the mood, and the audience makes yeah, a big mostly. difference and whatnot. Yeah. So out of this whole play, out of all the lines, you say, what is your favorite line? Um, maybe uh, behind the puffed of tines, I met them. 
The Puffed of Tines? Yes, well, you know, that might be my favorite one. I, although it's not really Shakespeare. Uh, so I, I can't say that it's my favorite, but I did say that once. Uh, what is the original line? Behind the tuft of pines I met them. Never saw I men scour right. so on their way. I eyed them even to their ships. Um, it is a great line. Yes, it's, I, um, and you did that. You just messed, switched the so the letters just yes. that one time. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but it was. Uh, I mean, it's very. I mean, it can't have you. have so many lines to memorize. It was amusing. Well, I I don't I don't have it too bad in this one really. Uh, right, right. Uh, so that is your favorite line in the whole play, because like, it's the one you you have to make sure you don't mess up because it's just the way it's written, right? Yeah, perhaps. I'd like to say that's my favorite one anyway. I mean, there are other ones that are kind of fun too. When you said that line, did the audience laugh? By the by, the puffed of time. No, I don't think they noticed. Or oh, if they, they didn't realize. If what they you're did, saying. they were too polite to laugh. But I don't a lot of Shakespeare is kind of like, it's like hard to understand. Oh well, yeah, they probably thought it was some geographical feature that we don't really. Uh, and it's Shakespeare. Know about. No one's yeah. going to question it, right? So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so someone may have laughed. I know Leontes thought it was funny. Oh. Um, other people on stage thought it was I don't know why I noticed because I was in the same scene as you. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but if you say so, then you must have done it right. Yeah, oh yeah, I did it. Um, so, um, how do you feel working in the ARB? I mean, it's totally different than a conventional stage. We don't have an actual stage and it's like we have a lot of stuff to work with here. So, how do you feel about like moving about from scene to scene, changing Well, that's location? interesting. I, 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 yeah, I've never done that before and um, uh, on a day like this, I have to say, I really think it's Wonderful, uh, because it is love. It is lovely weather. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is there's true. a nice, cool breeze blowing and that sort of thing. Um, when the mosquitoes are out, I th I think to myself, hmm, wh wh why are we why are we putting people through this? But uh, it it ends up being great fun, and there are lots of people here tonight. So yes. I know. Uh, there was that one time when we were doing wrist rehearsal and you saw a mosquito sucking the blood off my face and yes. I didn't notice it and how, what did you feel at that moment? I mean, well, yeah, horror, um, I mean, it's yeah. It's like a vampire sucking someone's blood. Yeah, the, the, yeah seeing this, seeing the, the, the body turn red with blood was, it was, was quite horrifying. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have even noticed it, seriously. I did not, I don't know why I didn't feel it. And then when I hit, tried to hit it off, there was blood on my finger. Yeah, they're good at that. But now I have my 98% DEET solution yes. on my neck and yes. my hands, yeah. and they hadn't been bothering me today yet. Right. <laughs> well, yes. Tell me, Brooklyn, what is the secret of that accent? Because you say you're totally American, right? Um, yes, what I, is the secret of that deep accent? I don't know. Um, right now, maybe my deep accent is, is a product of my, my uh, congestion. <laughs> so I'm just getting yes. over a cold. Yes. We hope you feel better soon. Oh, well, thank you. You're most welcome, Brooklyn. And um, yes, uh, there was one day before a performance, uh, a few days, uh, a couple of days back or so. I saw you rehearsing for Uncle Vanya because you're in that play as yes, well. Yes, that is true. Um, what is your take on? You have a Shakespeare play, like you had it at that time, like right then. You were about to get ready for that, and you're practicing these Vanya lines. Um, what if Chekhov creeped into Shakespeare when you were doing your lines? I mean, how would, how do you um, deal with that? Yeah, I never. That's one thing I never really worry about. It just it doesn't seem like something that would happen. Um, uh, yeah, I, I've never experienced it. The the only, I mean, you you, you might have to, Chekhov and Shakespeare are just so different in a lot of ways, uh, in a lot of stylistic ways that it would just be <laughs> difficult. But even other plays, it really doesn't seem to be an issue. Although I, I have before. Um, when rehearsing one Chekhov, substituted a line from another one, which, because it was a very similar line, uh, but it actually worked though too because it was almost the right. same thing. So. <laughs> right. So you are playing Uncle. Today's your last day playing uh, this in the Winter's Tale, correct? Yes, the last um, day in the Winter's Tale. And you're playing Uncle everyone. Vanya. Yes. How do you feel about that? Switching? I feel like I'm too young, but you know, um, I I've often played eccentric old fellows, um, <laughs> and I I really. I really do, uh, you know, he, he, he fits with, with characters that I, I have played before mm. and um, I want to, he, he, I think he's, he's quite a bit more dignified than he's given credit for and so I try and well, find that in him. Any quick, um, any quick tips you would like to give for characterization that you've done for the Shakespearean role versus your um, Chekhov role that you're doing next? Mm. Uh, I mean... I suppose in both of them, I'm I'm sort of uh, finding how the role, finding the role within myself, and how I can best convey it. Um, 
which I guess is what you really have to do with it with everything. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's that's the most articulate thing I can say at the moment. I think very soon we will have to get back on stage. But yes, we will. That adds to the drama of yes, the situation. Yes, so. quick ti quick times. And Robin is playing your mother and Uncle, yes. and Uncle Vanya. How do you feel about that? Well, that, that's that's nice. I mean, we we were friends before, and uh, and it, so that's quite a natural relationship. So I you think. get to work on with her with these two plays back to back, which yes. is amazing. <laughs> and uh, and thank you so much, Brooklyn, for your well, time. Well, thank and, you, uh, Puan, for you're most welcome, Brooklyn. And we wish you all the best for um, this last performance of yours, and uh, and for Uncle Vanya, and hope it goes really well, and uh, hope you can get as maximum amount of audience members to come and see it. I know I will be coming to see Uncle Vanya. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So, Thank you. Well, thank you. Take care. All right. I found out before going on that you see this jacket right here. Um, it's actually from the 70s, and they used it for Mother Courage. So I believe Mother Courage's character was wearing this in the 70s at um, from the theater department, and uh, uh, yeah, and it was bought, and um, it's um, it's been used for it's probably been used for other Shakespeare and art performances, but this one I'm wearing it, so it's kind of cool wearing something from the 70s. 